friends, thank you for joining us for an evening of music and fun and Christmas celebration of joy and laughter. It's been our habit as the family uh, um, of the gathering place to get together and enjoy warm chocolate, some good food and some good carol music um, around Christmas time to celebrate together. At this year, due to the pandemic restriction, unfortunately, we are unable to do that and your safety is very important to us as well. But we have a blessed person in the congregation who is very good at uh, making great videos and she offered to help us at this Christmas and bring a video together for us. We can enjoy and celebrate. And just about how important it is that we sing together as a church family uh, around Christmas time two years ago. I think Linda was on the piano and around 15 of us gathered at the gathering place for just snacks and some carol singing one evening. And I remember Tammy was sitting one side, the other side was probably sitting Jane from me, all kinds of different people. And as we were singing, I looked around in the group and I could see, not to name anyone, but I could see people from all ages, from all social level, from all educational level, with very different abilities, singing together the same Christmas songs in love. And I just, it brought actually tears to my eyes at that time, and I shared it with a colleague later, that that was one of the most moving, profound experiences to me when I experienced what does it mean to be a church family. The true story of Christmas, the birth of Jesus. The shepherds were watching their flocks in the fields near Bethlehem, when suddenly the angel of the Lord appeared, and a bright light shined from the sky through the darkness. The shepherds were afraid, but the angel said, Do not fear, for I bring you good tidings of joy for all the people in the world. For unto you is born this day in the city of Bethlehem a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. In the town stables you will find the baby, wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in the manger. Glory to God in the highest, and peace on earth and goodwill toward men, said the angel. The shepherds talked to each other and agreed to go to Bethlehem and see this miracle which the Lord had made known to them. And so they traveled and celebrated with joy at the blessed sight of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. There are some carols that go out of fashion. We used to sing this a lot when I was a kid. Junior choirs used to do it and they used to dress up. It was really cute. I just thought maybe we should dust it off and most people can sing along with at least some bits of it. Jesus, our brother, kind and good, was humbly born in a stable friendly beasts around him stood. Jesus, our brother, kind and good. I said the donkey, shaggy and brown, I carried his mother up hill and down. I carried her safely to Bethlehem town. I said the donkey, shaggy and brown. I said the cow, all white and red. I gave him my manger for his bed. I gave him my hay to rest his head. I said the cow, all white and red. I said the sheep with the curly horn. I gave him my wool to keep him warm. 
I gave him my coat on Christmas morn. I set the sheep with the curly horn. I set the dove from the rafters high. I cooed him to sleep so that he would not cry. We cooed him to sleep, my mate and I. I set the dove from the rafters high. I set the camel, yellow and black, over the desert on my back. I carried his present in my wise man's sack. I set the camel yellow and black. So every beast by some good spell in the stable warm was glad to tell of the gift they gave he man. What do you call a dog in the winter? A chilly dog. What do you call a frozen dog? Popsicle. You know that when you make a video or any sort of church event you want to plan. We usually have a group together, we have a planning meeting, sort out who does what. We like to know exactly what will happen at what time. But it doesn't always work out when you have to perform according to a plan, not just for fun, uh, or at least performing for fun according to a plan, it doesn't always work out. So that's why sometimes the backstage videos are the best videos. Enjoy. If I sang, I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day in the morning. You sing, what was in the ships? I'll sing, on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. What was? I'll the, sing what? What was in those ships? And what was in those ships? All three on Christmas Day. On and what was in those ships? All three on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. And what was in those ships? All three on Christmas Day in the morning. And then I sing. The Virgin Mary and Christ were there on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. The Virgin Mary and Christ were there on Christmas Day in the morning. And then we both sing, so let us all rejoice and sing on Christmas Day, on okay, Christmas Day. I have to write this down. You can't remember three lines? <laughs> you know, I've decided you have a better memory than I do. Thank God for folk music. <laughs> So let us all rejoice and sing. Okay. I mean, it's a question and answer. I have to learn to remember three verses. You have to remember two. Okay. So, so let, let us, us all rejoice, rejoice and sing on Christmas Day. <laughs> so let us all rejoice and sing on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. So let us all rejoice and sing on Christmas Day in the morning. Row, row, row your boat. Row, row, row your boat. Well, maybe not. <laughs> no. I saw three ships. I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day in the morning. And what was in those ships all three on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day? And what was in those ships all three on Christmas Day in the morning? The Virgin Mary and Christ were there on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. The Virgin Mary and Christ were there on Christmas Day in the morning. 
Then let us all rejoice and sing on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. Then let us all rejoice and sing on Christmas Day in the morning. Today is Larry and Dana's magic trick show and we're going to take this stick with this apple and insert it through the top of Dr. Pepper bottle. Get ready and watch this. There we go. We got her in. All in one shape. How do you like that? This is Larry and Dana from Long Beach. Thank you. How do dogs decorate for Christmas? They deck the paws with boughs of collie. Hmm. What do you do when it's raining cats and dogs? Nothing, as long as it doesn't rain deer. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Starled and Wonderbound. Don't have to be a king to 
Hi, my name is Amy Bershawan. I'm going to show you how I knit today. I'm going to show you how I uh, do a pattern here. Uh, so, what are you working on, Eva? I'm working on a Christmas dish cloth. A dish cloth? Yes. Okay. And do you have one that you uh, can show us that you've done? Oh, very good. And I understand you uh, make shawls? Yes. And blankets too? Yes, I do. And here's one I'm almost, almost finished. That's one of your blankets? Yes. There's, uh, and that's not quite done yet. No, it's not. And, and um, who taught you how to knit? My grandmother taught me how to knit. Oh, very good. And how long have you been knitting? For years. For years. And I understand you're limited as to what you can do because that you're, you're cancer. Right. You cannot. I can only do so many, so many, and I got to rest my hair on and go back to it. So it's taking me a bit longer this year. Good. And there's, uh, do you enjoy knitting? Yes. It gives me my pastime. <laughs> okay. Say goodbye. Bye. everyone, my name is Lisa Alumati. I've written a beautiful Christmas poem titled Christmas, Christmas Holiday Season. Christmas is a time of celebration, celebrating the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Christmas is a holiday season filled with joy, love, and happiness. And Christmas is a time of giving, giving of ourselves, and we're giving the gift of love, love that comes from up above. I love a country scenery filled with beauty. Beauty brings out the very best in me, which is poetry. And poetry brings out the new me, and every season changes me. Merry Christmas, everyone.
am concerned now. Jane told me I am in for a surprise, um, but I have no clue what that is. We're all very, very fond of Reverend Adam. And sometimes it must be like having an entire church full of aunties and uncles for him, but we do mean the best. We're there for him for better or for worse. This might be one of the for worse bits, but please give me some points for at least trying. Linda is a saint. Pastor Oak, Pastor Oak, Irvin is She had not Jesus, Hosh Bethlehem, Be. Cousin Test Mondon, Nakaki's dead neck. Kivacher God, Hoso, Pas and Bernek. Cousin Test Mondon, Nakaki's dead neck. Kivacher God, Hoso, Pas and Bernek. Come, shepherds, joyfully come, one and all. Hasten to Jesus in Bethlehem's stall. Give thanks and praise to the child that you find. He is the Savior for all of mankind. Kujun tisht mon dan naka kish deb nek. Kibol cha god hozot has ember Okay, having friends for Christmas is one thing. Having friends who will try their best to not to murder a carol is another thing. But it's even better when you can have your real flesh and blood family wishing you a Merry Christmas. Szia Gömbi! Üdvözlünk téged a Kosború Cárulik itthonról. Ez a mi karácsonyi meglepetésünk neked, ki most éppen Esik a hó, és apa mindjárt elmondja a többit. Dear friends in Fort Colborne, this is the Varta family from Hungary. We are the relatives of Adam, I am his father. With these two little songs, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Better than this was. This, uh, the first song, song is about the snow falling. The snow is falling with white uh, snowflakes and we are waiting for the Santa Claus. Drága Nagyi, bár az idei karácsony más lesz, mint eddig, készítettünk ne... The title of the second song is Little uh, Christmas, Great Christmas. No sense, it's only a child thing. And the first verse is about a Hungarian cake called Kalács. It is like uh, that bread, but sweet. The second verse is about uh, the Christmas tree, how big the Christmas tree is. Let's go.
Thank you for your attention. Jaj, Boldog karácsonyt, Ádám! I don't know if I was surprised until I have seen this video. Um, as you can see, I have an accordion on. I let myself be talked into playing jingle bells today, although I have had so far three accordion lessons. Now, I used to study accordion when I was around 12, 13, but then I stopped that time and since then, for 25 years, it's been a desire for me to restart it and keep it as part of my life until the end of it. And um, finally, after 25 years pause, I made a decision that I was going to invest and I knew what I wanted. This is a special accordion and so I found uh, very good teacher and it's been three times I have seen her and so my playing is very very uh, basic. I remember when I was around 13 and, and learned a little bit we were living in a big condo apartment, condo unit uh, and one of the uh, people who lived there had a restaurant and one day I was practicing in the afternoon after I went home from school and he, uh, someone rang the doorbell. So I went and opened the door and it was him. He told me he had heard me many times lately practicing and he asked me if I would be willing to work for him and every Friday and Saturday evening go to her restaurant and play for a couple of hours. And I think I blushed and I said, no way, and shut the door. Because I, I have stage fright. Um, not when I have to preach, although I have some, some holy stress, but with this, so anyway, I will try my best. Um, we'll see what comes, with what happens, okay? I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's go. So this is it. We've done quite a few runs <laughs> before at least I could make it this much. I'm perspiring like crazy. I have never, I haven't been this nervous for a long time. So kudos to Linda, Sheila, Jane, all those who can play an instrument above a crowd, of, in front of a crowd of people. It's actually very nerve wracking. I'm surprised I have such a straight st stage fright. But anyway, I hope you will enjoy it and thank you for joining for this Christmas video.
why shouldn't you bring a, a dog as your date to the holiday party? That, they're terrible dancers. They've oh. got two left feet. Oh, yeah. What do you call a wet dog with a bell on his collar? Jingle smells. <laughs> Okay, there's one more. How do dogs sing jingle bells? Dashing through the snow. <laughs> Your room at the manger for me.
enjoyed the video we had lots of fun of making it and I am sure many of us will uh, re-watch this video a couple of times just to bring some warmth during this cold winter time into our heart by seeing friends and church family um, having fun together I would like to invite you to come and have a prayer together let us pray Gracious God, thank you for the blessing that we have people in our lives who mean so much to me, who bring us joy and the embrace of warm feelings and light, especially at the winter when due to pandemic issues we are very much restricted who we can see or where we can go. But we feel that uh, we are not lonely for Christmas our church family, our good friends are with us. And this video helped to feel that. Gracious God, we thank you that you have protected us as individuals as, and as a community through this challenging year. And we pray that, you co that uh, your continued protection and sheltering and guidance be upon us as we enter into the new year. We pray also that may the new year be brighter than the year we are living behind, but we are very, very thankful that despite of these challenging circumstances, we are still able to celebrate Christmas together and feel the love our friends and church family have for us and to feel the love you have for us as we with open hearts embrace the Christ child, your love, coming into our lives. In Jesus' name, we thank you for that. Amen.